Good evening. It was passionate, at times personal, and certainly colorful. But more than anything, it was a physical endurance contest. Last night's three-hour-long debate among the Republican frontrunners had the candidates sweating it out. And that was before some of the night's most heated exchanges. The early view among the pundits is that more than a few solid punches landed firmly on frontrunner Donald Trump and that Carly Fiorina had a strong night. But the larger question of how they did is a subject that itself is up for debate this evening. We begin with NBC's Hallie Jackson. In a debate defined by the split screen, Donald Trump's face said it all as Carly Fiorina responded to comments about hers. Last week in Rolling Stone magazine, Donald Trump said the following about you, quote, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. She's got a beautiful face, and I think she's a beautiful woman. One of the most talked about moments of the three-hour marathon as Fiorina rocketed nearly to the top of the social media standings along with Donald Trump, Jeb Bush, and Ben Carson. But the divide on stage ran deeper than what we saw on the TV screen, exposing disconnects within the Republican Party, still litigating the Iraq war, the critics low-fiving. I didn't want to go into Iraq, and I fought it. As Bush defended his brother's policy. And he did keep us safe. Whether to legalize marijuana prompted a very personal moment. My husband Frank and I buried a child to drug addiction. So... We must invest more in the treatment of drugs. The candidates also divided sharply on immigration and foreign affairs, policy heavy moments that seemed to sideline the front runner, prompting pundits to declare Trump the loser. He is not someone that will pass the task of, do you want him sitting in the Oval Office uh, as the most important person in the world? But in this unpredictable race, that's another divide, the one between analysts and everybody else, including Trump supporters like Carl Zahn in New Hampshire. The lack of specifics doesn't bother me so much right now. What's driving Trump is the attitude. Trump got plenty of attitude from the other candidates. We don't need an apprentice in the White House. We have one right now. Trying to claw their way into the spotlight. And while Trump hit back, it was Furina who was the biggest hit. So confident, she skipped the usual ritual of spinning reporters afterwards. Her mic drop moment with momentum on her side. Nearly 23 million people watched the debate, CNN's highest rated show ever. It's about as many viewers as American Idol's first season finale. And the person taking credit for all of that? Donald Trump, who's drawing a crowd of thousands to this rec center here in New Hampshire tonight. Lester? Allie Jackson tonight. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.